thinking for yourself doesn't mean thinking about everything. Some things I don't think about. I don't think about how an automobile works. I mean, if I do, then I'll get a book. I'll, I'll, I'll gain an understanding to the extent that I need it, but only to the extent that I need it, that my life acquires it, that that knowledge is a value to me. So being a being of reason, thinking, and thinking for oneself does not mean one needs to know everything, to think about everything, to conceive of everything. All right. Our first super chat question. Whoops. Something went wrong there. Sorry. Let me just copy paste it. Think about, think about, um, you know, probably the best literary example of independence versus dependence. Anybody can think, anybody think about, in Ayn Rand's writing, what is the, the, the pair of characters that best represent the issue of dependence and independence? I'll give you a second to think about it, all right? And we can, and, and think about, Think about what it is in Ayn Rand's literature in, in, in her novels, but, and then think about cases of, uh, in real life. Who, who do you know, or who, who is a public figure out there, that you can, that you can identify who is independent versus dependent? Right? But in Ayn Rand's literature, the obvious example is, let's see, Rock and Meeting. I assume you mean Keating, yeah. Howard Rock versus... Versus Keating, right? Peter Keating, Howard Rock. Howard Rock is a man of independence. Thank you, Guy. Howard Rock builds based on his own standards. He thinks. He creates. He designs his own career. He pursues a particular career based on his own chosen values. He does not seek other people's permission. He does not seek other people's approval other than in what sense? Other than as traders. Now, that does not mean that Howard Work knows everything. He, th he seeks another architect, Cameron, who he admires, he respects, who he knows he can learn from and learns from him and trades with him through being employed by him. He seeks knowledge. He goes to university, doesn't get much knowledge there, and he ultimately leaves or is kicked out or drops out. But he seeks knowledge. He reads books, I assume. He observes other architecture. He tries to learn everything he can about the field that he wants to focus on, that he wants to specialize. He applies his mind. And then he trades with those who have something to offer him. So that's one sense in which he interacts with other people. The other sense is, while he doesn't seek others' approval, he seeks clients. He seeks people who will trade with him. Not trade with him blindly, but trade with him because they value him. They value his mind. They value what he will create. They value the value that he represents. So even though work, in some sense, financially depends on his clients, he's not dependent on them. He trades with them as a complete independent thinker. And when they don't recognize the value he represents, when, then, when their satisfaction would require him to compromise on his own values, what does he do? Well, he basically walks away. Right? He walks away. He refuses to compromise. Why? Because he's an independent thinker. He values his own mind. He values... 
his life. And he will not compromise on his mind, on his values. So he walks away. He walks away because what he would create if he listened to the client would be a, a, an essential compromise to his own life, to his own values, to his own thinking. It would compromise his thinking. It would undermine his independence. And the whole idea of, of independence as a virtue is you take full responsibility for the thinking, the consequences, the outcomes of your thinking, and you won't tolerate. If you take this seriously, you don't tolerate sloppiness, compromise, and just bad products, bad outcomes. It's you. It represents you. It's your life. It's who you are. Now, you know, this also fits in with integrity, right? He's a man of his words. He, he, he wants to make sure the product of his mind is consistent with his values, with his ideas. I mean, all of Ayn Rand's virtues, all of the objectivist virtues, integrate. They all connect. They're all, in a sense, one whole. There's a, there's a section, we'll get to at the end, when we've talked about all the virtues, which is called unity of the virtues. All the virtues are united under one. I mean, in a sense, that one is rationality. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want, to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs> 